Now, there is no better feeling than waking up early in the morning and you being the one that snoozes that clock and you just jumping out of bed. The sense of control and the feeling of I'm gonna make this day my female dog is a feeling that transcends through everything else in that day. But boys, the confidence of becoming an early riser it's easier said than done, and today I'm gonna give you the six tips that you need to put into action now so you can become a morning person and get up early. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, super important, you have to prepare the night before. The key to be an early riser is to be an early sleeper. An average adult, they need about seven to nine hours of sleep a night. And I know, I get it, you're probably gonna get haters and your friends making fun of you that you have a bedtime, but let's be real. Aren't you the smart and mature one that actually knows and understands the benefits of going to sleep early and then you choosing to do so and do it? Not to mention, let's be honest, what actual productive or beneficial thing do you do or your friends do after nine or 10 o'clock at night? Almost nothing. Exactly. So you doing this, going to sleep early, choosing to do so is going to set you up to be the one that's actually laughing good. The one that's having the last laugh because when you're successful, they're going to still be playing Madden 27. Number two, you have to booby trap your alarm because one simple alarm that you can just easily snooze while you're half asleep. It ain't gonna cut it at first. I have my room triggered with an alarm where not only do all the lights just start turning on, but my blinds go up and music just starts blasting. Not only is it a hard wake up call that's gonna for sure wake you up, but I also have to physically get up and shut off each single thing. That is me booby trapping my alarm. There's also other apps that you can download on your phone that work the same way. There's an app, for example, you have to solve a complicated math problem while you're half asleep in the morning to be able to shut off the blazing alarm. Most of us will probably wake up after that math problem. Number three, have a reason. You need a reason, a why, a why you're getting up early or else I promise you you're going to fail at this. Proper motivation is necessary. Now, whether that's because you want more time in the day, go to the gym and get shredded, or simply you just want to outwork your competition. When you have a solid reason, you're just going to hop out of bed because you're just going to be excited to be able to tackle that goal and get one step closer. Or use this time to win. You see, the whole point of getting out of the bed early, like I just mentioned, you need a reason why. So you want to use it to win. When you actually make that decision to get out of bed, that's your first win of the day. Well, use this momentum to keep winning almost like a snowball effect and set the course through the day. Whether that's choosing to now go to the gym, knowing that 99% of the population is still sleeping, or expanding your knowledge and becoming more successful on your side hustle or hobby. Either or, you're gonna get immense benefits. So if you wanna start with that, my recommendation, you guys gotta check out our sponsor, Skillshare. If you are a professional or somebody that just wants to get better in any aspect of life, whether that's music producing, photography, videography, business, arts, singing, whatever you can probably think of marketing. Skillshare is the website you need to start going to where you're going to have professionally taught classes by leaders in their industry showing you how you can expand your knowledge. This is how you win in the morning and set yourself up and the day for success. Guys, even me to this day, I still don't stop learning. I cannot explain to you how many articles I read in a day and how many classes I sit through. And it's not just me. Our entire company, I have them hooked on Skillshare and taking classes. For example, our brand manager, she's watching a video on personal branding on Skillshare. You see, Juan, he's watching a Skillshare on project management, you know, to just better your workflow. Our creative team, they don't stop grinding. They're watching a Skillshare on photography. You see, and our inventory management guy, head of operation of all our businesses, well, my man, he's watching a video on how to work smarter. With so many businesses, these tactics end up helping out on the bottom line. It doesn't matter your position, you can always be expanding yourself and making it better. And honestly, Skillshare for me and my personal life, it's been a lifesaver because I've learned so much knowledge that in return has set me up for success. And you could do the same. I'm taking a product management course on Skillshare where it just shows me kind of tips and tricks that I can do to more efficiently manage my workflows to achieve my goals. With five different companies, we have projects running constantly and I needed to learn how to be more productive. So I took a class and you can as well. You guys can click the link down below and get your first two months of Skillshare completely free, which is 
insane. After that, if you guys decide to stay on Skillshare, memberships start as low as 10 bucks and you're gonna be joining a community of over 7 million users that are on Skillshare constantly becoming better. It's gonna be as expensive as Netflix, except this is gonna pay you. Five, you need to prepare the room. Once you've made the conscious choice in your head that you're going to start going to sleep early and waking up early, you need to go and make the changes your room needs to make sure that not only you get a good night's rest, but you can fall asleep fast. The first thing you need to do is make sure you get rid of all electronic devices one to two hours prior your bedtime meaning your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, you have to get rid of it. Most of this stuff emits a blue light that messes with your internal body clock. That's why at night you can't go to sleep because you can't stop scrolling in your head it still thinks it's sunlight outside. So you either put these items away, use blue light blocking lenses or put it in night mode. You'll also want it to be the right temperature. I've talked about this before, but there's been several studies that suggest that the right temperature to go to sleep is anywhere from 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Right in that chill spot, that's when your body tends to relax and you go to sleep fast. And finally, number six, make sure your morning is simple. Sometimes, for most of us, the thought of everything you have to do in the mornings is the exact same reason why it's keeping you in bed. You don't want to roll out and have to do all the chores you have to do in the morning before heading out. This is why you want to keep your morning morning as simple as possible, meaning pre-plan your outfits the day before. That way when you wake up, you already know what you're wearing. You don't have to be struggling. Two, make a simple hearty breakfast. I've been eating the exact same breakfast for the last about year and a half because I know it takes me about 15 minutes to cook and eat. I know what macronutrients it has. I know all the calories it has. It's easy. Six eggs, a bagel, turkey bacon, my coffee, OJ, and a banana every single day for the last year because that streamlines my morning and I can do it with ease. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are six tips that I use in my personal life to be able to be an early morning person and get up fast. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Skillshare. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.